heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Gator, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. This is what it feels like when we're left to pick up the pieces. This is so heartbreaking. My entire team is sitting here in tears, sick to our sick to our stomachs. Last night I got a message from the adopter of this dog Gator, who was originally known as Benji. We adopted this dog to the family over four years ago. He was a puppy. He was maybe five months of age. He was with the family for four years. Had they had another dog, two children, everything was perfect. They decided to take in another dog about a year ago, a little over a year, and Gator and the newest dog were not getting along, and they brought Gator back to us this morning. Um, he has puncture wounds on him. He has a cone on him because he had to be uh, given a sedation and a little drain in his chest as you can see the red it was white it's a little string hanging out to drain he had a staple put in one of the wounds in his back because they got into a fight for the third time third time forget all that the worst part about this entire thing is that he is sitting here crying and looking for his family he is completely distraught. He is broken. He is confused. It is so unfair and it is so freaking heartbreaking to see this poor baby boy in such distress. And we are desperate, desperate, desperate for a home for him immediately. Even if it's a foster home, somebody who does not have another pet or a small sweet dog. He needs to be in a home. He cannot be here in this animal hospital, shaking, trembling, crying, missing his family. As you can see, they shaved certain areas to, to fix and clean um, one of the little punctures in the back. They put a staple in. He's wearing the cone. I don't understand. I, I, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to crucify. I'm not here to beat anybody up. I'm here for Gator. I'm here to be his voice and desperately try to find a home for him. He's a 20 pound, four year old, little schnauzer terrier mix. He is so sweet and so loving. So sweet. And this is the freaking suckiest part of rescue. You know, you place these dogs in home. Four years this dog was in a home. Slept in bed with his mom every night. And he doesn't know what he has done wrong and why he is here. Look it. He's looking underneath this bench outside looking for his mom. Looking for his person. It's okay, Gator. It's okay, Gator. He doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know why he's here. He's a baby. He's been with his family since he's been a tiny puppy. And he slept in bed. He had a family. And now he's in an animal hospital. And he's so scared. And he's so under, he's so stressed out. He's shaking. He's trembling and crying. And we have to sit here and we have to listen to him cry and shake and tremble. We just took him out of the kennel because I literally went back there. Lori's in her is sitting on the floor in the kennel in tears like trying to think who who could take him who could take this poor baby why does he have to be here one night alone in a kennel environment alone shaking and trembling this is so wrong on so many levels and it is so unfair
you know, I was reading through the comments and it doesn't even matter. Everybody's like, well, then why didn't she get rid of the newest dog that she got a year ago? Why did she get rid of him? He's been in the home for over four years. He was there first. He was fine with their original dog. He was fine with their children. All he's doing is crying and whimpering and it is gut-wrenching, gut-wrenching to see him like this. He doesn't deserve this. We did not place him in this home for him to end up like this. We didn't save him as a puppy from the side of the road with a, 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 an open wound because somebody was abusive to him as a puppy to put him into a loving home with a family that we do thorough home checks, background, ask a zillion questions to make sure it's perfect. And then four years later, this baby is dumped back in our lap and now he's here confused and shaking and trembling and crying. It's not fair. It's not fair to him. My girls are here. I was getting ready to go home and let my dogs out and they literally grabbed me in my car and they said, Amy, you've got to come out and do a video. You've got to reach people. You've got to get him seen because he can't be here. He can't be here. And we're stuck with the sadness, the tears, and then not to mention all the medical bills that we had to cover today because of all his injuries that will heal. They will heal. You know, I'm going to show you again. He's got a staple here. He's got a couple of puncture wounds, one on his head, one under his neck that needed a little drain. It's okay, sweet face. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could make it all go away. I'm so sorry. He was surrendered back to us this morning after four plus years. He's a little over four years of age. His name was Benji when we, we had him and they changed his name to Gator. We're calling him Gator because that's what he's been called for the past four years. And he's just so sad. He's killing us. His face, these eyes, he's a 20 pound little Schnauzer Terrier mix. He won't eat, he's not drinking. The sound of his cries are just heartbreaking. It is so beyond sad. There has to be somebody out there that could just take him home and foster him even until we could find it forever so he doesn't have to be here alone. Somebody that maybe just has a quiet home environment that could love him and, and just pet him and just so he doesn't have to be here, guys. Please, I'm begging you. I can't beg anymore. I'm on my knees. Open till 8 o'clock tonight. Please. The hospital's open till 8 p.m. this evening. We'll jump through hoops to get him into a home, whatever it takes, so we don't have to sit and watch him and listen to this all. Oh, I can't. And the hospital closes at 8 o'clock tonight, and they don't come back till 7.38 in the morning. So that means all these hours, he's going to be sitting in a cold kennel by himself. We're all here loving him, cuddling him, talking to him. It's not working. It's just not working. Even a foster is better than nothing. Please. We're in Fort Lauderdale. We cannot ship him, transport him. We need somebody close by so we can hop in the car and bring him or, or get him somewhere that's safe and loving for him. Just, I can't. I just can't look at this. I can't take it. It's destroying us. It's like you want to literally just bang your head off a wall and you just keep, right, you're pacing and you're, you're my, our, our stress level, our, our, it's awful. I can't explain it. I can't put it into words when you witness this firsthand. You're seeing a video, we're here with him. We're witnessing every single emotion he is going through right now. I know, I know, baby. I know, I know, it's okay. You're okay. You're okay, Gator. Gator, you're okay. Please, please, everybody, please share this video when I shut this down. Please consider opening up your home if you can take him in. Please. No big dogs right now. I don't want him in a home with any big dogs. I want him either in a home with none or a home with a small dog that's sweet. 
No more big dogs for him. Huh? He needs a submissive dog. Or he needs a quiet home. He just needs to get the hell out of here. He can't be here. He can't be here. Just heartbreaking. I don't know. I haven't seen him around cats. I don't know how he is with cats. I have no idea. No clue. All he wants is love and to be touched. I know. He's trying to talk. He's talking so loud. So loud. Please, guys, share this for Gator. Please, begging. Begging, he is destroying us. I feel like I want to rip my heart out of my chest. I just don't know how much more sadness and heartache one person can take. This team has seen it all, been through it all, time and time again. He's so sad. His eyes are he's crying. He's you can crying. see crying. I can in his see eyes. Him crying. This is his Guys, please reach out to us, please. Please. This is Amy with Gator. I gotta shut down, guys. I can't. I just can't. I'm asking you to share this, please. Please. This is Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.